Trucker of the future. <laughs> Don't go away. We need to do this one. Hi, I'm Dennis Gage, and welcome to My Classic Car. Well, this week, we're in McCungy, Pennsylvania for the Antique Truck Club of America National Meet. Now, I've been to a lot of shows before, but never anything quite like this. There's everything from little Crosley pickups to the biggest over-the-road rigs you're going to see. Man, this is going to be a lot of fun. Let's grind some gears. Doug, how you doing, man? Just fine, sir. Wow, what a show. <laughs> Thank you very much. I've never been to anything like this. And you know, Antique Truck Club of America, I thought, okay, this would be cool. National meat, sounds good. You know, I figured it'd be trucks. I didn't realize it'd be trucks. It is I mean, trucks. Trucks. I mean, these are some, this is some major stuff here. Absolutely. From brass era to the most modern antique truck you can find, which this year is a 1992. Oh, really? Unbelievable. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, it's, it is amazing, because there's just some some incredible brass era stuff here, incredible. Yes. But then the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, every era had, you know, kind of a unique design for that era. You know, the flat face and then, the, you know, the kind of the bulldog look, and certainly there's a lot of Max here. Oh, uh, McCungie. Why, why would that be, right? <laughs> <laughs> the truck capital of the world is Allentown. <laughs> that's where Mack trucks where, are made, yes, right? Yes, that's where all Mack trucks are made, with the exception of Australia. Oh, okay. And this park is home to a lot of cool car shows. Yes. And one heck of a truck show. Absolutely. We so have a great time. So being the national meet, do people come from a long way away? We get trucks that travel all over the United States and Canada to come to this show. And you just know, to some bring of these, trucks. Some of these trucks, you know, have a top speed of like 40 miles an hour. So I'm seeing a lot of these semis coming in on semis yes. you know they're hauled in here it's hard to just own just one apparently so because <laughs> everybody seems to have several and how long has this event been going on uh this is the 38th year and in the park the 36th year wow it is the doggondest thing i've ever seen <laughs> i just i just really dig these things from all eras the styling i mean really the engineering and everything is just is just uh mesmerizing wow this is cool thank you you know, coal hauler and shoot and all. I just can't get enough of this, frankly. I mean, I just had, I've had a blast uh, so far, and I'm just getting going. Wonderful. In fact, there's a couple that just just blow me away. L let me show you my faves. That sounds go. good. Well, John, this is a mighty big truck. Thank you. <laughs> it's an Oshkosh. I thought they made bib overalls. They do. They but do. they make big trucks, too. They also make big trucks. They sell mainly to the military. They're big government contractors. So they're still manufacturing? This model they don't make anymore, but they still do make some commercial trucks, uh, but mostly uh, big Hemets and things of that nature. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. this, thing's, this thing's huge, and it's what? It's Caterpillar powered. Yes. Uh, this has a Caterpillar 1673. I believe it's 250 horsepower, which was pretty big for the day, but today, in today's standards, it's not very. It has a 10-speed transmission with a three-speed auxiliary, so in essence, there's 30 gears in it. What, what, what year is this? Uh, 1971. The design is so crazy. I mean, what, why is the front end way out over the, the front axle? Well, this is called the setback front axle. The uh, axle, obviously, is set yeah. back. It started life as a cement mixer in St. Louis. Uh, and was driven to New Brunswick, New Jersey. And by the way, top speed on this truck is 52 miles an hour. I was going to say, that was a slow trip. It was a slow trip with no air conditioning, by the Ooh. way. No air conditioning, no radio. This truck is bare bones inside. Well, but, and look the size of these tires. How do you turn this thing? Uh, it's got hydraulic assisted steering, okay. or you'd never be yeah, able to turn, never turn it. it. Never turn it. There's two winches on this truck. That's a drag winch. The other winch is for the hoist. So, as configured, was this in service? Yes, oh, this, this truck, the reason there's a New Jersey Turnpike sticker, this truck ran up and down a turnpike just about every day, clearing wrecks and accidents and things of that nature. So people know this truck. This is probably one of the most famous tow trucks in the country, and I kid wow. you not. Everybody knows Ugly, even people on the West Coast. And Everybody that's just, its, knows name, ugly. its name is Ugly. Its name is Ugly. When it came to New Brunswick as a cement mixer, it was painted 
four or five different colors, and everybody said, boy, is that truck ugly. <laughs> okay, so the name stuck, and it, they called it ugly, and everybody knows ugly. It's ugly. This, everybody this is ugly. knows ugly. So 1971, Oshkosh C2044. 2044, correct. Cat powered. Caterpillar powered. Man, oh man. That's one bad truck, man. Thank you. Thanks for bringing that baby out. You're welcome. <laughs> John, you know, there's a lot of really cool stuff at this show, but I gotta believe this is the coolest thing here. This is a 1919 Mack Bulldog. Wow, I mean, I've never seen anything like this. It's a hard rubber tire, dually tire axle, so yes. And this is a chain drive? This is not a drive shaft vehicle. That's correctly, yes, that it's a chain drive. That must be one big chain. It does have four transmissions in it, uh, counting the ones on the winch. Seriously? Yes. The restoration is magnificent, absolutely magnificent. Are these cast wheels? Uh, yes. I mean, that's, that's a huge casting. It is, and what's really nice about it, this 1919 truck, you can still go to Mack Truck and get a line ticket on it. So we know Are where you the serious? truck is. Right? That's true. Oh, man. Yeah. So, this, so it was built right here in McCungy, right? It was built in McCungy, yes, a couple miles from where it is right now. You know, it's just so beautifully done, and this cab reminds me of the old C cab Fords. Yes, you know? it is a C cab, yes. This probably has a top speed of 40 miles an hour, maybe? Oh, less than that, probably 20, 25 miles an hour. But you could hour. climb a wall with it. Yes. This whole rig, you know, all this wrecker stuff here, this was all part of it, eh? Yes, it was. I mean, this thing looks like a huge erector set uh, toy truck, almost. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's... It, it, right. What they say is that one man can rig this by himself, and he must have been a heck of a, <laughs> heck of a great man. This being a tag axle, as you can see, it moves. Okay. But in the old times with the dirt roads, uh, it probably went down uh -huh. and sat on the dirt road and gave stability. What a hook. I mean, my goodness, John, this thing could pull the world, I would think. I've seen a lot of vehicles in my time, John. I'm sure but you this have. one just blows me away. I just, I love this. Can we go up and see what the engine is? Sure can. Let's do that. Today's modern hoods almost go up by themselves. This Thank one you. This one doesn't. No, no, I just. <laughs> there she there is. There we are. So these are these uh, individually cast two yes. cylinders yes. each, eh? Yes. And, and that's the cooling fan. That's the cooling fan. The most important thing in the whole thing is this magneto because when that magneto is in good shape, it fires a heck of a Spartan. And, <laughs> and knock and, you down. You know, it would knock you down, but it also gets the engine going quickly. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'm telling you, I mean, this is just the coolest doggone thing I think I've ever seen. A 1919 Mack AC Wrecker. It's incredibly cool. It's a magnificent restoration, and it's two miles from where it rolled off the line new. That's really funny, isn't it, it's, to be back it's here? It's amazing. You're my hero. Thanks, Thank man. <laughs> it's awesome. Well, now, Jay, I, I love Divcos. Yeah, I think they're happy little trucks, you know, and, but I think, when I think of Divco, I think of this, you know, this little delivery thing here, mm -hmm. happy, fun little truck. This is the oldest Divco I've ever seen. This is a 1926? It's the oldest Divco in the world. It's the only survivor of the original 25 that was made back in 1926. No kidding. And this went to uh, Derry in Ontario. So this truck ran from probably 1927 to 1953, serving milk in, uh, in, in Ontario. In Ontario well, you know, these things look like trolleys. This is a wood design, like a lot of buggies were, and uh, they squared it off a little bit. One of the things I get kicked out of, of course, you got a steering wheel, you expect a steering wheel and all that, but then there's all these controls over here. This was designed, the front steering wheel, the driver got into it at the dairy, yeah. and then drove whatever the distance to their first stop. Okay. And after that, then they drove from the side. Right here is a tiller bar. If you push it over, you go to the right, and if you pull it back, you, you go, go to, the, to left. the left. This pedal here yeah. is the clutch and the brake combined. So when it's down the whole way, the clutch is disengaged and you're on the brake. You come out, engage the clutch, turn your throttle at the top. Yeah, and, uh, and then you're go. steering here. And then you can go then to your, your third gear. Well, that all seems real safe. Yeah, okay. <laughs> now I'm, I'm delivering and I want to serve a customer, so I'm in neutral and I leave my foot down, and now I have my emergency brake on, the brake pedal's on, as long as it's in neutral. Is that right? This is 
Jay, this is crazy. <laughs> this thing is well, so, you got to be crazy. <laughs> you got to be crazy to drive it. And then, so what power is it? The four-cylinder uh, Continental engine in the front, and this was a poor design for a milk truck because all the heat went back. All the heat went back in the cargo area. This thing is just crazy. I just, I love this. So it's a, it's a 1926 Divco milk truck A model A. Model A. Only one on earth. This is so cool, Jay. Thanks for bringing this out. Well, you're That's quite so welcome. Cool. I love it. <laughs>
So two what? Two sixteen. Two sixteen. Were these made for either, you know, export or home market, and you could right or left hand drive them? I think there was a simple conversion from General Motors. So you're still running a six volt system? Yes. And are you still running a generator? Yes. Oil bath air cleaner. Yep. Single barrel. Hmm. But gets down the road just fine. Oh yeah, yeah. It's actually pretty peppy. So 1952 Chevy Ute. Correct. From Australia, right-hand drive. Yep. Only one here. Only one most places. Well, most places. <laughs> Thanks, man. This thing is so cool. Thank you. <laughs> oh, man. The Antique Truck Club of America's national meet here in McCungie, PA is really something else. Some serious heavy metal. Check this one out. <laughs> 